In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use a selection of the dies from the plain hexagon and the stitch dot hexagon from Prescott to actually make a beautiful set of frames and multi layers. And this is really simple because all of the dies were, dies were designed to be mathematically correct and designed to make sure that they intermix perfectly. So what I've actually done is I've already pulled out a selection from the plane and from the stitch dot. And the stitch dot has the stitch dot on both sides. So we'll get the piece that comes out and the frame with that beautiful detailing. So if we start to layer them up, you can see that what I've actually done is select pieces that will give me a full set of mats and layers going all the way through, some fine and some wide borders. So you can see here with these three, although they sit on top of each other, they will give a beautiful fine border. So to start with, lay out your pieces and choose the selection that you want. It's always worth checking them. I use a magnetic board like this just to see how pieces will work and make sure that they actually all fit together. And what I've done is I've gone for the large one at the back, then I want a frame, and then I'm going to layer up a section in the middle. So I'm simply going to cut out all of these pieces individually and cut those two together to create a frame. So I'll bring the pieces in that we've cut and you can see here how they've worked. So I cut the largest piece in black. I cut the frame in the mouse gray. I then used the outline die from this frame to cut this white piece here so that when these are matted together, you don't see anything on the outside. I then use the next die down to cut myself a nice piece of lilac. I used the die that was slightly larger to cut a piece in black and then finally a piece in white for the center. So I worked through with three different colors and using the dies from the set. But the best thing to do is to select first of all which dies you want to use and then work out the sequence. So I'll show you layering them together and we're going to actually stamp a sentiment in the center. So I'm going to take the piece I've got for the center and move those out of the way. And when you're stamping onto a set square or a set size, this is a hexagon, um, I always find it easier to make the shape first rather than cut it out and then, or I would prefer, should I say, to cut it out first and then stamp the sentiment rather than trying to stamp the sentiment and then frame it. I find this a lot easier. So I'm just going to secure the piece into the top left hand corner choose my stamp and I can then move that around until I'm happy that it's in the centre. And that's, to me, a lot easier for centralising a stamp than trying to lay a die over and see through. So once we're happy with that, we pick that up with the lid. I'm using a black VersaFine ink. Give me a nice, solid black stamped image or sentiment. So we're just going to stamp that. There we go, nice and clean and crisp. So we'll take that out of our stamp press and we'll start our layering together. So I'm going to start from the back. So we're going to start with the black plate. So that's our first piece. And I'm going to add to that the white piece that I cut and I've added a little bit of foam tape onto here. So I've got that black going into the white, plain to stitch dot. I'm now going to bring in the frame that I did and I put this exactly on the same as the white layer, but I've got that depth. So I go black to mouse gray into white. I'm then going to bring in the next panel. So this is the plain black and you can see I've gone down a little bit in size just to give myself a nice little space. So a little bit of my craft artist glue and we'll put that into place. And you can see it's already starting to work. The colours mix really well. I've cut the next layer in the mouse grey again with the stitch dot. So we place that into the centre. So I go sort of white, grey, white. I go sort of black, grey, white, black, grey. It's playing with the colours. And I'm going to finish off with the white with the stamped sentiment 
in the centre. And you can see here, this is what I love. Because these are quarter of an inch, when you mix them in with the stitch dart, you can get really fine borders because they've been designed to mix and match within there. So there's our piece. And what I've done here, I've just used one of the smallest dies in the set, in the stitch dot and in the plane. And I've cut out hexagons of the black, the white and the mouse gray, just to create my, a nice sort of base card. And we're going to pop our sentiment on the center. So a little bit of glue down there. And I'm just gonna tie in to that black hexagon at the top. And we stick that down. And I can use the central line there to make sure that it's completely straight against the design. And there we go. A very simple set of frames, easily done, but the dies do all of the work for us.